accounting for inventory, FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average inventory valuations. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, and the website, stltest.net. So this is an example that I have linked that takes FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average and uses the same numbers to explain both, which I think connects the three methods together in an important way. So let's do first in, first out first. Now, as in most accounting problems and also the real world, we assume that prices rise as time goes on. Prices rise as time goes on, which is common because we have inflation. So that's fairly common and not, and not unexpected. So the way I set this problem up, and this is the way I'd suggest everybody else do it too, is we have the dates when things occur. We list units purchased over three dates. October 1st, we have beginning inventory. We buy inventory on the 15th and the 17th. And then we have two dates in which we sell inventory, units sold. 50 units on the 25th and 50 units on October 31st. For the units purchased, we list the prices that we pay, and you'll notice that as time goes on during the month, that the prices go up, not surprising. And then I multiply across over here, I multiply units times price for the three purchases. And I add that at the bottom and I say that the total units I need to account for, the total cost that has to get assigned somewhere is $3,925. And I say that that cost goes one of two places, and this is an important point. You either sell the units, which means they end up in cost, the cost ends up in cost of sales, or the units are unsold and still on your shelf, in which case they're ending inventory. So FIFO means first in, first out, which means that we sell the oldest units first, and then we work our way down toward the newest units. So on October 25th, when we sold 50 units, we take the 50 units out of the $10 per unit pile. We multiply that across, and the value of what we sold is $500. On the 31st, when we sell another 50 units, we take the remaining 50 units out of the $10 per unit pile. We multiply across 50 units times $10 to get our $500 cost. And so if I add up the value that I placed on the two sets of items that I sold, my cost of sales is $1,000 using the FIFO method. So what's left in inventory, in ending inventory? Well, when I sold 100 units, I sold them all out of the $10 per unit bucket, if you will. So all those units are gone, all 1,000 were sold, which means what I have left is I have the 150 units at 12. I have the 75 units at 15. And if I add, I multiply across to get units times dollars per unit, and I add that up, I get ending inventory of $29.25. And if I add my cost of sales of 1000 in blue plus my ending inventory value in green, I get a total value of $39.25, which is the units I needed to account for at the top. So that was using the first in, first out method. Let's look at LIFO. Last in, first out, which means we sell the newest units first. So when we're selling, we work from the newest units to the oldest units. And because we're selling the newest units first, we're going to find that we're selling the most expensive goods first. Important, all the data at the top is the same. Because at the end of this process, we are accounting for the same number of total units, either sold or in ending inventory and we're accounting for the same cost, the $39.25. So in this case, when we sell 50 units on the 25th, those units are sold out of the $15, the most recent bucket of units. And that's how we handle the purchase on the, the sale on the 25th. We multiply across and we find out that our cost of sales for that sale was $750. The next one's a little tricky. We sell 50 units on the 31st. 
we take the remaining 25 units that we have at 15, and then we need to go to the next layer, the next bucket of inventory. Another way of saying it is the next newest, which is the 150 units, 12. So 25 of the units come from the $15 unit bucket. 25 of the units come from the $12 per unit bucket. I multiply across. I add it up, and I find that my cost of sales is $14.25 as opposed to the FIFO method, which was 1000 And that shouldn't be surprising because, again, under LIFO, I'm selling the newest units first. The newer units are more expensive than the older units. So it's not surprising that cost of sales is higher. And it should follow that my ending inventory is lower. Let's see if how we figured that out. So what's left? Well, the 100 units at 10 are left in inventory. That's 1000 150 minus 25, there's 125 of the units left at 12, the 150 less the 25 that I sold. And there's no units left at 75 at $15 a unit. All 75 of the $15 per unit items got sold. Zero in that category. I multiply across. I add it up. I get $2,500. And I find out that my ending inventory, which is the older units, is less in total dollars than my ending inventory under FIFO. Under FIFO. The easiest method is the weighted average method. Again, the data at the top is the same. And in this case, I simply take the dollars I have to account for, 39.25, and I divide it by units that I purchased both in ending inventory, both in beginning inventory and purchases. So my weighted average is the 39.25 in blue divided by the 325 units in green. I get an average of 1208. And I simply apply that to the 50 units I bought sold on the 25th, the 50 units I sold on the 31st to get my cost of sales. I take the hundred unit, the actually 225 units I have left in ending inventory because remember I started with 325, I sold 100. That means I have 225 left, the 100 plus the 125. I multiply both of those times the 1208, the average cost that's linked. I multiply across to get my total in dollars. Add it up. I get my ending inventory in a weighted average method of 2717. One more thing quickly, and it's back on the first tab, is that because my inventory has a different value, I come up with different levels of profit. Under FIFO, I'm selling the oldest units first, but you'll see that there's an assumption that I'm selling at the same sales price, same sales price under all three scenarios. Since I'm selling the oldest units first under FIFO, the cost of sales is lower. And because cost of sales is lower, profit is higher. Under LIFO, same dollar amount of sales, same revenue. I'm selling the newer units first. My cost of sales is higher. My profit in comparison with FIFO is lower. That's what happens in the beginning. With FIFO, I'm selling the more expensive units later, I'll have a lower profit later. With LIFO, I sell the less expensive units later, I have a higher profit later. So the timing of your profit will be different. And that's why we don't want companies switching their inventory accounting methods um, because it provides something that's misleading. It provides something that's misleading. So, that's as far as we'll get on ending inventory, FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average. Remember that on the website, stltest.net, we have our toughest accounting topics. I teach these small group live chats all the time on these topics that I'm most asked about. And also the book, Cost Accounting for Dummies. You'll see that I teach the book in a free live chat session every week. Here's the book's cover. And you'll see that I teach the course in a 
almost every weekend, Saturdays at 11 a.m., and you can email me for a meeting link on that. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.